In this online lecture, we're going to discuss the nitration of benzene rings, and we're going to see key point number one. Nitration does follow the general mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitution. And number two, we're going to see in the pre-step here, nitration involves a reaction between a Lewis acid and a Lewis base. The pre-electrophile acts as a Lewis base, and the electrophile maker acts as a Lewis acid. So let's look at our overall reaction first here. This is what it looks like, benzene plus HNO3 with H2SO4 to give us this as a product. In this particular reaction, this is playing the role as the pre-electrophile. This is playing the role as the electrophile maker, making the NO2 the full-fledged electrophile. Let's make sure we see how the pre-step works for this particular reaction. So here we go. In the pre-step here, we have the HNO3 reacting with the H2SO4. Notice I wrote the HNO3 a little bit differently here. I wanted to express that he has an OH group. In the first pre-step here, the electrons on the oxygen here donate to the hydrogen here. Or in other words, we can say that the H2SO4 donated a proton to the OH. Think about what that would turn HNO3 into. This right here. This would put a positive formal charge on that oxygen now. And let's do this. Let's look at our NO2 group here. And let's actually write out his Lewis dot structure bonds here so we can see what's going to happen. What happens next is these electrons on the O fall down here and in the process boots this thing off as water. We've seen something like this before in other organic chemistry mechanisms. Remember, typically OH is not a good leaving group because it's a strong base. But if you protonate OH into water, then water is a weak base, so now it's a better leaving group. And notice that's exactly what's happening here. We protonated OH. The electrons on the lower right-hand oxygen are coming down and booting water off. What we get as a result is this structure right here. And of course, we get the water as a side product. Notice that NO2 molecule has a positive formal charge on the nitrogen, so he's a full-fledged electrophile now. So notice, that's why the HNO3 is playing the role as the pre-electrophile, and the H2SO4 is playing the role as the electrophile maker. Now remember, once we've created this full-fledged NO2 electrophile, now we're simply going to react it with benzene. Let's turn them over here, make them a little bit smaller so we can fit it all in here. And let's look at the first step of electrophilic aromatic substitution. It's simply the electrons in the benzene ring go out and attack the electrophile like this. We end up with this structure right here plus the two resident structures. And of course, remember we know how this ends. A base comes along, rips off this extra hydrogen. The electrons fall down here. And we end up with this as a result, as a product. So notice, there it is, our general mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitution. However, let's go back to our pre-step. I want to make some observations here. Notice, in this particular case, the HNO3 is acting as a Lewis base, and the H2SO4 is acting as a Lewis acid. Remember, it's the H2SO4 that's donating a proton to HNO3, and remember, if you donate a proton, you are acting as an acid. And if you accept a proton, you're acting as a base. So this pre-step is nothing other than a simple acid-base reaction between these two reagents. And again, if H2SO4 protonates the OH in HNO3, the OH becomes H2O. So there it is, our overall reaction. This is how we add a nitro group onto a benzene ring. And let's look at our key points. What have we learned here? Number one, that nitration follows the general mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitution. And that two, the pre-step for nitration involves a reaction between a Lewis acid and a Lewis base. The pre-electrophile acts as a Lewis base, and the electrophile maker acts as the Lewis acid.